In neighborhoods across the country tonight, people got out of their homes and into their communities to meet their neighbors, all a part of National Night Out. And as News 3's Whitney Miller tells us, there were some Bryan neighborhoods that made an extra effort to include their local police department. We have a lot of just regular folks, hardworking individuals, retirees. We have single parents. We have some students. Those are the type of people park manager Kelly Elson says live in the Oakwood neighborhood. Tuesday, they came together to celebrate National Night Out. We just have a big party. Everybody comes together and just enjoys the food and the fun. We try to make it entertaining for everybody, but also give everybody a chance to meet the city officials, the candidates running for mayor. And the police. Sergeant Ryan Bona says, especially in today's climate, it's important to get out into the community. This is something that we've done for years. We know is important. Uh, it's just a good way to, to get good face time, interact with people in a non-enforcement capacity where we're just shaking hands and talking and answering questions rather than maybe stopping somebody that was driving a little too fast going to work. That was also happening at Camelot Park in Bryan. The Candy 95 morning team also stopped by to present local officers with a thank you poster signed by listeners. We wanted to do something to where the community could all rally around them and they would really just feel loved and that we appreciate all the good work they do. It was a time for conversation that they hope continues well past one night out. In Bryan, Whitney Miller, News 3. The managers at Oakwood also raised money through some activities, and that money went towards the Brazos Valley Food Bank.